you guys cannot tell, I'm very excited. Like, I barely even slept a wink last night, okay? I went to bed at like 2 a.m. because I was rolling over. Because today is my parents' anniversary. And we're doing something very, very special for my mother, okay? It's like, okay, we have something very special, something very diabolical planned. We're gonna be like Dr. Doofenshmirtz, okay? It's, as you saw by the title and probably the thumbnail of this video, we're gonna surprise my dad is gonna try to surprise my mom with a new to us Dodge Durango RT, okay? And this is very big because we had an old 2006 Explorer that we got for a fishing trip a while ago. And we got it back in 2014. And so it's 2020 now, so we've had it for subtract the two, carry the four, screw it. We've had it for like six years. So it's kind of a big deal. We're getting a new car and we sold it a few months ago. And so now she's looking for and been looking for a new one for quite a few, quite a long time now. So it's quite a big deal that we're getting a new one. And the one that we saw is so good. Like, my sister has no idea we're doing this. She thinks we're going to a baseball field this morning to get some more practice for yesterday or last week's video that you might have already seen. So she thinks we're just getting more footage. But really, we're taking her on a big trip and like an hour and 20 minutes away to surprise my mom with a new car. How cool is that? So we've had to be a little secretive, but I think it's gonna turn out well. Is it Anna? Is there something you'd like to ask me? What? Do what? Where are we going? Where are we going? Why do you ask? See, that was the plan. Sometimes plans change. And sometimes things aren't what you think they are. You see, right now, something very diabolical is going on. And you're being taken hostage. Why? Well, you see, your skills are very unique. driving this uh, 2017 Durango 
and uh, seems to be running pretty smooth so far. It's got all kinds of bells and whistles, but I don't know what they do yet. A lot of things to figure out. Um, but yeah, it seems like it's pretty nice. All in there, of course, with the red stitching. Paddle shifters. <laughs> V8 Emmy definitely works. <laughs> Puts a smile on your face when you get on it, that's for sure. I haven't figured out how to put it back in auto mode and turn off the paddle shift. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get there. I'd like to get it out on the highway and get it up to highway speed just to see if there's any kind of pulling going on left or right or any kind of weird shimmies or sounds. Uh, yeah, it's going to take a while to figure out all the options and different things. Visibility is actually really good out of this. It's better than the Explorer was. The pillars, the way they're contoured, even though they're wide, you can still see out your corners really nice. Pulling to somebody's house randomly. They're like, hey, how you doing? We're here for lunch. What'd you make? This thing rides really smooth. I mean, the bumps and everything are really. Yeah, we just ran over a cat and didn't even notice. Smooth, yeah. And it was a big cat. of the plans in place. The kids are drawing her out of the house. You guys ready? This is the moment of truth. The nerves are starting to build up a little bit, but we're about to call my mom, so let's see if she'll pick up. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Um, so here's the deal. Okay. We think Dad dropped his keys out of his pants pockets when we were practicing earlier. Uh-huh. And so we can't find them. Would you be able to come and bring the extra pair to us? Yeah, where are you at exactly? We're at the city park, and then we'll, like, we'll come home and eat and then pick up the metal detector and come back out and try to find them if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be down there in just a little bit to bring in the keys. Alright, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, <laughs> she's on her way. I'm sitting down the road waiting for her to go by so I can get to the house. I thought it would be pretty good. I'll give you a little tour around this thing while I'm waiting. It's a 2017 Durango RT. It's got the embossed lettering in the seats. All the bells and whistles that she's been wanting. So we've been saving up for the past several years for something like this. That stimulus package was just enough to be able to make this happen. So thank you Mr. Trump for helping this become a reality and this also helps people at the car dealership make some money and help spread it spread the joy around a little bit we've got a just a beautiful day today it's like 74 degrees out partly cloudy just cartoon skies beautiful now I gotta call my dad to tell her that she's on her way this is gonna be crazy she gonna she gonna lose her mind Oh, there's my phone call. Hello. She is on her way. She's on her way. All right. Did she have many questions to ask? Nope. She's like, okay, I'll be there in a little bit. Perfect. All right. I'll be watching for her. Okay. See you, Gator. See ya. Bye. Bye. Everything is falling into place. It's perfect. Now we just got to wait for her to show up. And it'll be done. Sorry, we were oh, wow. been here so long. Cool. Because we were here and we were about to leave, and then Mr. Deshawn oh, well, showed yeah. up, and you know that's the always a long again. that's always a long story when him and Dad start talking. Yeah, it always is. It's alright. So they finally started working on the field and stuff. So oh, no, then we fine. found out he lost his car keys. Oh, well, good thing I have a set. It's alright. He's all worked up about losing his car keys, so he's in the pooper right now, but... Oh, I'm gonna poop here. We'll need you back there. Okay. Yeah, we're just loading up everything. And then, did you have a good baseball thing? We did. Very okay. good. Very productive. Yeah, I had trouble trying to hit the ball with the bat, <laughs> so I had to throw it yeah. as hard as I could. And it, so yeah, Dad just went in the bathroom before he got here. Oh. So, <laughs> went that way? I had to go that one. Did he? You can hear a rock coming from the bathroom. <laughs> the toilet. Yeah. Probably having two kids in there or something. I, I guess we'll see you back at the house in a little bit. Okay. All right. What you say? We gotta wait for Mr. Man to come out of the bathroom. Okay. Don't lose, don't lose my truck key because you know yeah. he's got it in his hand. I think we're all good here. <laughs> we'll see you there in a little bit. Okay. Don't harm yourself. Now she's pulling in now. Hopefully she don't see us in here. She'll be walking right past this window to look in. I crouch down so she don't see my head moving around, but hopefully she don't see the vehicle in here. I don't see her. Yeah, we're at the front door yet either though. Guys, that went about as perfect as I think that could have went. She's not very mad, which is surprising to say the least. So we now have two truck keys. And dad is at home in our garage now, ready to surprise her when she when we get there and open the garage door and there'll be a new Durango for her there. New to us. But yeah, we need to not waste much more time and we need to get back over there to see her reaction. I think Alan's going in to get her now.
Yeah, she's coming. Here she comes. Happy anniversary. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at me my house slippers. Oh my I like goodness. your bat. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Oh. I got nothing. I got no Good thing I did my hair. That's why I didn't put makeup on. Wow. That's fancy. Woo wee. <laughs> So do you approve? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work for you. That'll work for me. Thank you. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh, um, wow. Fancy. <laughs> Good thing I didn't come out in the garage today for anything. Woo. Come on. Wow. Very pretty. Oh, it's just a little. Oh. Huh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Start it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna check out my seat. Let's see now. One minute. Um. Seat on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What? If I ever get cold, let's come out here. Oh my good. That's a warm steering wheel. Wow. Feel that. Steering wheel. Oh, that's a warm one. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, I can't put many receipts in there. We can take that out. Oh, we can put lots of receipts in there. <laughs> Just kidding. I won't do that. Wow. So you're probably wondering why we were having such a long ball practice. I asked that. Well, you said you're talking to Deshaun. So I figured, you know, anything possible with Deshaun. Yeah. 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 And he said you lost your track keys. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, we didn't really lose track keys. Uh, he said, Dad's in the bathroom. He's like, we'll see you at the house later. I said, okay. We had a hijacker. She didn't know what was going on. I had no idea. She thought she was going to FOMO's playing baseball. Yeah, you left at 8.30. Yeah. So we got about 10 miles out of town. Oh, jeez. We got out of town and I was like, man, we must be going to a really far away baseball park. Uh-huh. And then uh -huh. turns out we weren't. Oh. Well, I thought, you know, because you left at 8.30 and I'm like, okay. You feel like I'm fun. like, well, I guess they've just hitting all the sites and playing ball everywhere. I'm like, he must really ball. All the people at the dealership are like, we're sorry it's taking so long. Your wife's probably going to be really miffed at you. I hadn't. And I was like, well, she might be really mad at me, but hopefully she'll be happy with me after no, the fact. No, I didn't. I, I, you like? I like. Very nice. First drive. What do you think of your little hoopty so far? It's very fast. I like it. I like it a lot. It's got a capitalist gas tank bob back there, which is interesting. I never had one. We didn't put a cap on it. Yeah. And then we got young ding dongs in the backside. Oh, hello there, Mr. Risky Business. <laughs> hello there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's got a third row of seats back in the back there, but they're folded down right now with a little cover over it. That way we can run the liquor. Yeah. Get the moonshine. Thank you. 
later now do you are you into the car is it feeling good to you yeah. does it make you all groovy and happy inside <laughs> sure yeah it's a nice vehicle yeah yeah i've never drove it in the dark so i'm not sure about the lighting but yeah i've had the sunroof up most days you've had it for a week and you've never drove it in the dark yet. Yeah. it's really nice the, the high beams you can see like 2,000 miles down the road. Oh, that's a lot of miles. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the next county. No, I left the house and I could see Denver, Colorado. Oh, well that's a long trip there. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was a hike. Yeah, no, I'm not driven a hike. No, I just don't go out much at night, so. I mean, yeah. And the, the air conditioned seats? I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, the ventilated seats, when Alan and I took it to the lake the other day, uh -huh. It's so hot out. Yeah. You know how leather seats are always smoking hot. You can't really yeah. sit on them. Yeah. It was perfect. So you don't want me to take it back or anything? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll keep it. I gotta, I gotta figure all this stuff out. I just figured out the radio system. Or I should say Savannah helped me figure out the radio system. It's Have good. you come up with a name for it yet? I've had a few, but I don't think anybody likes what I thought of. So. What have you thought of so far? I thought of like uh, Red Rockets. <laughs> I don't know if we want to use that one. Oh, you know, my little red wagon. Some Ryan Lambert lumber wagon. Uh -huh. That's about all I can think of. But yeah. Yeah, I haven't thought much. I don't know yet. I gotta have it for a while. As somebody told me once, hit something. Then you know, then you can name it. Well, usually you just shop profanities. You don't want to name it that. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, no. Not happening. No, no they, they typically have to earn a name. Yeah. I'm just anxious to hopefully have this thing paid off in, you know, five or six years. Yeah. Until then, yeah. that bread and water is going to be pretty good. Add some peanut butter and jelly to it. Mm. good sandwiches. Sandwiches. Since we bought this like six days ago, I've gotten three different emails from the people at Castle seeing if we're happy with our, oh, yeah. that Castle Mitsubishi? Yeah. Seeing if we're happy with our purchase and want me to do different surveys and different Yeah, things. and you told them yes? Yeah. Yeah. I say you did business with them, so. Yeah, the internet sales lady, she got a hold of me. She called me, actually. Oh. And while we were at the lake the other day, and I was like, oh, we're just leaving the lake. She's like, oh, I don't want to bother you then. I'm like, no, it's fine. My son's driving the truck, and I need somebody to be able to scream to if we're dying or something. <laughs> no, she was, <laughs> but I gave her a hard time. She wanted to know how um, Edwin done as, oh. as our sales guy. Right. And I, I gave her a line about, you know, how terrible he was. And, this and that and the other and had her believe in it and it ended up that uh, you know then I told her the truth that Edwin was great to deal with and the people there were all friendly and, oh, yeah. and great to get along with. But, yeah. yeah. I've had a few people that want to go for a ride with me so. Well. Okay. I guess the only thing left is to say thank you all for joining us and uh, being along on this ride of a little bit of trickery and yeah. surprising Darcy for our anniversary. Yeah. Um, I hope it doesn't seem like a conceited thing because that's not the way this is meant. Um, we're making payments just like anybody else does. And the fact that I mentioned where we got this from or put their email address uh, in the video, we're not getting anything from them at all. That's, that's just me saying I appreciate um, the deal that we, that we made. Uh, they're willing to negotiate. They were good people to deal with. We had nice conversations while we were there. And if somebody does something nice for me or treats me right, I just want to let them know that I appreciate it. And I want to let all of you know that I appreciate you uh, watching these videos and uh, sharing a little bit of our lives because it's not always easy to get together with everybody, especially with everything that's been going on here lately. Um, all this coronavirus stuff, it's, we just haven't been able to get together with people. So it's nice to be able to share a little bit. And uh, I hope you all are safe and that you're having a great week. And until the next time, we'll see you guys later on The Light Outdoors.